We want to take you back to that late breaking news, sad news. The McCombs family announcing that Red McCombs has died. The multi-industry business magnate owned everything from car dealerships to pro sports teams. Myra Arthur takes a look at the legacy he leaves behind. This steer uh, was sent to Washington, D.C. Uh, he spent the inaugural weekend uh, in the Hilton Hotel there, and uh, he is a gift to President Bush. Everything is bigger in Texas, including Lone Star legend B.J. Red McCombs. From Longhorns to Mustangs, basketball to broadcasting, this billionaire made a name for himself, not just in San Antonio, but across the nation. Trying to get free for the shot, he got inside of Collins. And Born Billy Joe McCombs in Spur, Texas on October 19, 1927, Red McCombs is one of the original owners that brought the chaparrales of the American Basketball Association to San Antonio in 1973 to become the Spurs. And Red would once again step up to save the now NBA franchise in 1988 by purchasing 100% of the team. Owner who has a majority interest in the Spurs. We are committed. That this franchise in San Antonio will be the very best that there is in the NBA. And the purchase of the Spurs actually became official right here at KSAT 12. It was it was agreed to and consummated right here in the conference room. And that was when I got a bunch of guys together and I said, we don't know whether we can make this thing work or not. They haven't been able to make it work in Dallas. We need it badly. So I'll take the big end of it if all you guys will split up the rest. Red, who earned his nickname due to his hair color, was on the Forbes list as one of the richest men in the world. But while business was his background, sports was his passion. He would purchase the Minnesota Vikings in 1998 for $250 million and would later sell the NFL franchise in 2005 for $625 million, coming just one win shy of going to the Super Bowl twice. His enthusiasm as a team owner was infectious. He wanted to operate in the NFL because in the NFL your challenge is, is making a team out of 50 players and uh, I think that that in itself creates such a challenge and also uh, it's a game that in Texas uh, you grow up uh, uh, with football. Ah! Married to Charlene Hamlin in 1950, the couple set out on a life adventure documented in his book, Big Red, that began with McCombs teaming up with salesman Austin Hemphill to form Hemphill McCombs Ford. Later, Red McCombs Automotive Group. He would turn to broadcasting when he would partner with Lowry Mays in 1972 to form Clear Channel Communications that at its peak would own as many as 1,200 radio stations, 41 television stations, and three quarters of a million outdoor advertising displays. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I like to do things, and I like to, I, I like to, the, the opportunity as well as the challenge. Before her death in December 2019, Charlene McCombs would guide Red in their philanthropy through the McCombs Foundation including, but not limited to, the Red Zone at Royal Memorial Stadium, the McComb School of Business at the University of Texas, the Red and Charlene McComb Softball Complex at UT Southwestern University in Georgetown, and of course, the Charlene McCombs Theater and Media Center in San Antonio. It was at Southwestern in 2017 that the university celebrated the couple's 90th and 89th birthdays together for their support. And it was there Red told us, for him, it was more than just about the money. Uh, God intended for all of his children uh, in his image uh, to have rewarding lives and rewarding to themselves and rewarding to uh, that please him.